We are here in week 16 for Denver Broncos franchise. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and comment down below. We got the night of the 2024 draft class all set up. We should be good to go. I may, I'm gonna have to do some testing, but I may have to, uh, after I'm done with the season, I may actually have to restart the franchise. I'll set everyone's record the same. Stats are all gonna look different, unfortunately. Um, and then I'll set, you know, everyone's dev trait where it's supposed to be, uh, because I may have to restart the franchise in order to get the draft class to actually work. Let me know in the comments below if there's another way you guys found where you were able to keep your current franchise. Um, so yeah, let me know, but I'm pretty sure I might have to restart it, but I'd rather restart it at the end when I know all the dev traits and, and everything We're that, you know, so we can, we know all that so we can edit it, um, once we start or once we go through the next one, right? So anyways, let's get into it. Uh, in this episode, what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to play just the moments. That way we can get through these three episodes fairly quickly because uh, three full games in this episode is gonna be pretty long. So let's get on to weekly strategy where we play the New England Patriots. Now I wonder, okay, so it is gonna be Mac Jones. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to defend the inside run for this game. And then offensively, we want to run the ball. And then uh, the same challenges. Uh, let's do allow 20 or less. I think that we're capable of allowing 20 or less. And let's get into these mini games. Ooh, Baron Browning's going to be out for this game with turf toe. He's just, he's always going to be hurt, man. We really won't be able to uh, have him part of our future. Ben Powers is going to be out as well. That's really annoying. So there goes our left guard. But yeah, Baron Brown is going to be tough to uh, to have long term. Uh, I mean, we can always keep him. Hopefully not pay him much. And he'll just be a backup. But we can't rely on him. We, he's just, he's always hurt. It's brutal. Uh, Drew Sanders, we're going to go run stopper for him. Get block shed and tackling up. Plus one strength, plus two tackle. We didn't get block shed, unfortunately. He only has a 78 block shed, so that's why I want to get those those two up there. And then oop, uh, we want to go ahead and get McLaughlin going here. We're going to work on elusive back for now, but I want to get his receiving back stuff up as well because I want to use him in that scenario. And let me know in the comments below. I may go through the... Well, actually, when we restart the... Uh, the franchise that will be updated but his acceleration and speed is really low so i'm wondering if madden will change that because he's very fast he's a very very fast player so i don't know let me know in the comments below i feel like his speed should be like in the 94 95 range so i may i may edit that um or you know we'll just when I have to go through the franchise again and reset it because of the draft class, we're much, most likely we're going to have to do. Um, it might be correct, right? So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Well, let's go ahead and get these done. Oh, and also, like I said earlier, we're going to be playing the moments just so that way, you know, this all kind of goes by a little bit faster. And in this game, we will go with the new uniform Sunday Night Football. So let's have some fun. First moment of the game, and we've got a third and a five for the New England Patriots. Mac Jones in shotgun, Elliott in the backfield. They're going to hand it off to Elliott, and Elliott will have a first down. Drew Sanders with the tackle, but that will give the Patriots a first down and will continue their drive to the 38-yard line. Now they're in the red zone here. Third and six. See if we can get a stop here. Get off the field. You know what? My the, the guys aren't right on my, as my edge rushers. That's a little irritating. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, New England. Juju Smith-Schuster with the touchdown. Offense did nothing, so we're back on defense. And Mac Jones and the Patriots driving once again in shotgun. See if we can hold them to a field goal this time around. And Mac under pressure, and he's going to get that complete. So, Tan, you, you, you couldn't do anything? Break up the play? Nothing? All right. That's that's awesome. 
So New England will have first and 10 from the 19-yard line. And Parker has four catches already. They're going to hand this off. Zeke cuts back inside. And he will gain five on the play. And there's all of our injuries. Ben Powers out due to foot. Baron Browning, same thing. We just have a lot of injury-prone guys. I mean, that's what that's how George Payton and... Uh, well, I guess George Payton, really, built this team. He went out and, and signed and... Just a bunch of guys who just get hurt. That's that's what he does. Super fun. Lo love that he does that. And then, and then we're shocked that they're hurt. And that's going to be incomplete. Pastor Tan actually does something there and knocks that one away. He didn't really knock it away. But he forced the incompletion by pushing him in the back. That's something, I guess. Second and goal from the nine. And it's another run, and Sanders was there. Couldn't bring him down. 15 carries, 62 yards rushing already for Elliott. And we're in the first half. Wow. I mean, that's not the greatest yards per carry. They're just running the ball a lot. Third and goal. And that's going to be this time caught. Riley Moss gets burned. And it's Devontae Parker with the touchdown. And New England will go up 14-0. Across midfield to the 33-yard line. And we're going to quick throw this to Dulcich, who won't quite have... No, he will. They'll give us a first down. Russ, four of six or 46 yards. And we've got a third and two here. Dulcich with the catch to get them a third and two. And that's going to be the two-minute warning. So we can... You know, we don't have to hurry up or anything. We're at the 20. We have three timeouts, so let's take it easy here. Set a screen to McLaughlin. Just make sure we get the first down, and McLaughlin has the first down. McLaughlin bounces it outside to the 12-yard line. And we'll just let the clock run down. Like I said, we don't need to be rushing or anything. We'll snap it here with the clock all the way down, and Samaja Piran will have the carry for a gain of five. His second carry for eight yards. And let's just hand it off to Jaleel McLaughlin here. See if he can get close to the end zone. McLaughlin bouncing out to the outside. Nice move inside. McLaughlin touchdown. I really like him, man. Uh, he is, he's just, he's so good. He is so good in this game. And we will cut the lead to uh, seven. As we do have a third and nine just across midfield here. Man, a first down would be huge. Gives us gives us a chance to tie up this game. Ah, no, we're just going to run it with Russ. Fight for the first down and we got it. I'm not worried about Russ getting injured because, you know, whatever. We had a big play, though. That got us all the way down to the three-yard line. Okay. We're going to give it to Javante here on the trap. And Javante pushes through down to the one. Eight carries at 32 yards for Javante Williams. I'm going to go right back to him here. Go for the touchdown. Make sure Mims was actually covered. And that's going to be a TFL. All right. Third and goal. Do we try again? I think we just try again. Why not? We'll probably just go for it on fourth if we don't get it. And Javante, break a tackle, man. Come on. You got to get away there. Uh, all right. That's frustrating. Fourth and goal. We're going to We're gonna go for it. Look for the slant to Mims here. No, that's covered. Everything's covered. Wilson sacked. It's now 20 to 7. Not sure what happened. They didn't let us step in, so I don't know. Russ, though, efficient. 10 of 12, 106 yards. Gets that one to McLaughlin for our first down. And we will have it at the 28-yard line. Third and six as we enter the fourth quarter. And, I mean, down by 13, this needs to be a touchdown. I mean, nothing's really open. That's going to be inaccurate. I hate that play. That's that play just 
Never works out. We're going to step in here. We're going to go for it. Because no matter what, it's a three possession or it's a two possession game, whether we kick a field goal or we fail on fourth down. And I'm going to go to yeah, it's picked. Pass wasn't led far enough. It was underthrown. And oh, well, now we're going to give up a pick six. All right. Fantastic. Love that. I like how I said no matter what, it's going to be a two score game. And then we give up a pick six. That's hilarious. Hilarious, McLaughlin. We'll have another catch here. And it will be a third and two. Six minutes to go. I'm going to have Humphrey run, run a go route here. And no, it's knocked away. All right. Thought maybe we could fit that in, but incomplete. And obviously, <laughs> we got to go for it now. And just going to... No, that's going to be... That's going to be picked. Okay. Sweet. Well, this one's over. 31-7. to 7, The defense gives up another touchdown. And that escalated very quickly. I mean, the, the two picks, whatever, man. I don't know. Uh, is it my fault? Sure, I guess. But was there anywhere else really to throw it? No, not really. I don't know. Not really, uh... Not really sure what to do there. And I mean, look, we don't have receivers that get open either. So that's part of it, right? We don't have a very good receiving core. As Samaji Pirine won't go anywhere there. Just hoping that maybe he could break a tackle, do something. We'll send Mims on a go route. And... I mean, we'll take a shot. Nope, knocked away. Christian Gonzalez is uh, is very good. He's very good. I'm learning very quickly. <laughs> Christian Gonzalez, good. Very, very, very good. All right, let's see if anything gets open here. Again, I want to go after McLaughlin, but we're sacked. Christian Barmore with the sack, and that will do it. Russ, 16 of 25, 144 yards and two picks. Zeke ran for 100 yards on, on the defense. Great. Javante was not good again. McLaughlin wasn't much better. And then Daz, 5 for 54. McLaughlin, 4 for 32. Mims, a very quiet game. Defensively, Sanders was had 11 tackles. No TFLs, though. Pastor Tan had a TFL. Two sacks, DJ Jones and Zach Allen. No picks. Two pass deflections for Sanders. Again, I mean... Drew Sanders, just all around, is a very good linebacker. Week 17 is underway against the LA Chargers. Third and two, and a good first drive so far. Go play action here. Maybe hit Mims, and we should have him, and he holds on to it. Nice grab by Marvin Mims. And we are down to the 15-yard line, first and 10. Let's try a jet sweep with Mims. I don't know if this will work. Or no, this will be with Humphrey, actually, instead of Mims. And yeah, that's not going to go anywhere. All right, well, good to know. Let's not ever run that play again. So second and 11. By the way, Greg Dulcich is out of this game. He's not going to be playing. And wide open is Daz Newsom. It's a gain of 10. It'll be third and one. Russ, five of seven to start this game. Uh, let's have Humphrey running out here. And I'm going to go to Mims. Mims, open. A touchdown, Denver. And we will take a 7-0 lead over the Chargers. Good start. We have a chance to go up 14-0 here. Third and seven. We'll go to McLaughlin here on the screen. And can't, okay, what what are we doing, Miners? That, we're just gonna run towards the sideline like a moron. Awesome. Like, dude, we'll kick the field goal here to make it a ten nothing game. And the field goal is up and good. The Chargers went down and scored a touchdown and never let us go back in to potentially stop them. It's third and four here. As the Chargers have the ball once again. And that's going to be caught over the middle. It's Keenan Allen. 
Herbert, 7 of 13, 84 yards. And it will be first and goal from the four-yard line. Can we get a stop here and at least just have the Chargers tie up this game? Nice tackle by Singleton. And that's his fourth tackle already in this game. Second and goal. It was a loss of a couple. We'll watch Keenan Allen here. He's probably going to be the target. Nope, they'll pitch it out to Eckler. And Eckler down to the 45-yard line. Actually, Drew Sanders with a nice tackle. Seven carries, just 16 yards for Austin Eckler. And, yeah, let's, let's just go ahead and blitz here. And uh, that's going to be a quick throw. Touchdown, Mike Williams. Just over two minutes to go here in the first half. And it's going to be third down. We'll hand it off to Javante. He has the first down. 10 carries, 48 yards, so not bad for Javante. And they'll bring us back in third and five from the 22. First down here will get us into the red zone. Look for probably just Troutman underneath here. Just quick throw, and no, he drops it. Big hit. And it'll be fourth and five. Russ apparently threw, threw a pick. And it's going to be fourth down. You know what? Let's, let's go for it. Fourth and five from the 22. I don't mind that here. And we got Mims wide open. But they blitz. And it will be incomplete. That's another fourth down failed conversion. Jeez, it simulated us all, to the, all the way to the fourth quarter. We're up 17-14 though. But the Chargers in the red zone here. First and 10 and Eckler up the middle. And he breaks a couple of tackles. Gets to the five yard line. 15 carries, 72 yards. We have not been a good red zone defense. They are two for two as far as touchdowns go. And this will be another pitch. And Drew Sanders got blocked. Eckler, wow, down to the one. Bonito was there to stop him before he could get into the end zone. Nice play by Nick Bonito. But it may not matter. At all. Because they're probably going to go right through... Oh, this is going to be another pitch, and Eckler will have a touchdown. The Chargers will take a 21-17 lead here in the fourth. Must have missed a field goal, or... Yeah, they must have missed a field goal. Why would, they wouldn't go for two. That doesn't really make sense. But our offense it did nothing. We got to stop them here, force them to kick a field goal, and at least we can go down and potentially win the game off a touchdown. Second and 11 now. That was the two-minute warning. So we'll call a timeout here if we can get a stop. They'll run it again. Nice play there. And it will be third and 12. Can we get one more stop here? I'm not going to guess run here because they might throw it. Nope. They'll run it. Eckler with the carry. We'll call another timeout. A minute and 47 to go. Can we have a game-winning drive here in week 17? The field goal for the Chargers to give them a six-point lead is up and good. Let's see if our offense can do something here. Starting at the 25-yard line. I'm going to actually hand it off here to McLaughlin, see if we can get a big chunk since they're, they're, playing, they're playing pass. Why not? I'm going to send Troutman on a go. All right. Uh, I like it now. I probably should have thrown it a little bit earlier. Yeah. Should have, should have thrown that earlier. Probably a, a second too late on that throw. So third and three. Look for Mims on this corner route. I like it. And he has it. Marvin Mims down the sideline. Touchdown, Denver. One, well, two, three plays technically. But a huge play there. Marvin Mims was wide open. A huge touchdown. And now... We have a one-point lead. Oh, wow, the computer went for two, and they didn't get it. Why didn't it have the computer, like, why didn't it just have us go for two? It's pretty dumb. We have a chance, though, to win this game. Can our defense get it done? Second and ten. Can we stop them? All they need is a field goal, and that's going to be caught by Keenan Allen. He gets out of bounds, and now third and five. 
They need to get to probably about the 40 to have a chance. We're going to blitz off the right side here. And Herbert under pressure. He throws a screen. And Eckler will have a first down. They have all three of their timeouts. They didn't use one there. So just under 50 seconds. I'm not sure why they didn't use a timeout, but that's going to be caught. Keenan Allen all the way down to the 42, and that might be why. They call a timeout now, 42 seconds to go. They still need about another five yards to be like, okay, we can make this field goal for sure. And this will be caught for a gain of seven. And our defense is probably going to blow this. Herbert, just over 200 yards. He hasn't been very good today. Our defense has actually been solid until the very end. Second and three, or until I decided to use her. I don't know. Who knows? And that's going to be caught. Eckler gets out of bounds down to the 22-yard line. And they are definitely in field goal range now. Not good. Not good at all. First and 10. They'll go ahead and run it. Benito is there with the TFL. They'll call a timeout. I don't know why they called a the timeout there. We're going to look to stop the run again. And we'll use our timeout there. Third and three. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. They can just run another play here. Call a timeout. And that will do it. I'm going to try to go for a fumble maybe. No. He kind of had the ball just hanging out there, but couldn't knock it free. And... They'll call a timeout here with 15 seconds to go. We'll actually have a slim, very slim chance. Go for a block, too. And block it! It's blocked! It's blocked! We're going to win it! You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> oh, no, Caleb! No! Oh, my goodness. We blocked the field goal to win the game. The Chargers Charger. Oh, my God. Leave it. You know what? Smart. Smart. Smart, Chargers. I know what you're doing here. You're letting us win so we don't get Caleb. It helps you long term. I, I see what they did there. Unbelievable. Ah, oh, that's... That's... That's fantastic. Russ, 17-28. Three touchdowns. 236 yards. Eckler, 114 yards and a touchdown. Javante, 62 yards rushing. McLaughlin didn't do much today. Uh, Riley Moss had 11 tackles. Purcell with two TFLs. No one had sacks. Pat Sertan with the pick, though, and a pass deflection. So we are 3-13. and We play the 9-7 and Vegas Raiders. So let's look at the standings here. Where do we sit as far as worst record in the league? We are tied with the Colts. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine, because the Colts wouldn't draft Caleb. We would, we would trade up with them um, just to make sure we do get Caleb, right? And no one else trades up. And then we would draft Caleb. The Colts honestly should draft Marvin Harrison. That'd be sick. Could you imagine? That'd be awesome for them. But, uh, yeah. So that's fine. And, I mean... We might still have the number one pick. if, As long as we lose, we have a good shot at the number one pick. Marvin Mims has an upgrade. We'll give him deep threat. He's up to a 77 overall. And hopefully he's able to win. Ooh, plus one speed. So 93 speed for him. Yeah, man. Marvin Mims is going to be pretty nice. <laughs> he's going to be he's gonna be awesome. And he has his former college quarterback throwing to him. When... Uh, Caleb was in Oklahoma for that year. That's going to be that's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Add um, a fullback to the list of positions we're going to be looking at in the draft or in free agency because I've never seen in this drill a fullback not block as bad as this. Like he sucks. And you're he, he's fine right now, but he's just going to run the opposite way half the time. Like it's just ridiculous. Like there was a this is the second time I'm doing this one. And he literally just ran right to the end zone. Didn't block either of the two guys. He just... He's a, he's a moron. 
He's an absolute moron. Oh, there he goes. Yep, great job. Good block, dumbass. What is happening? I've never seen one of the blockers be st this bad. Like, he's awful. He's actually been not half bad, actually, in this specific one. But my first try doing it, he literally, out of, like, the first 10 runs, blocked one dude. <laughs> he would just run the opposite direction. Uh, he's, he's an idiot. We should actually get gold here as long as we can score one more touchdown. And Burton actually started blocking. Yeah, right when I start recording and talking about his dumb ass, he starts blocking. Great job, idiot. Good lord. All right, we get gold there. I just wanted to vent there because he was he's a moron. So we're going to be at full back to the list. I'm done with him. He sucks. But we get gold. Let's get into this game against Vegas. Oh, my goodness. See if there's any injuries. And there is a back strain for Troutman. And then defensively, we do not have any injuries. So that's good. See if we have any upgrades. By the way, we have 195 uh, staff points, which is going to be awesome for the offseason. Pat Sertan with an upgrade. Going to continue to make him as good as possible. He's up to a 97 overall. Plus one speed. Man, he is so damn good, dude. <laughs> He's so good. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if uh, we decide to do anything with him. Speed rusher for Benito. He's up to a 75 overall. Uh, plus one speed for him. Plus one finesse moves. It would be massive. Massive if we could get him uh, star dev. We really, really need to get him star dev. If we can. But... All right, let's get into this final week against the Vegas Raiders. Here we are in Vegas. Oh my lord. Why is it so bright? What happened? It looks terrible. Bonito with the sack. Hey, there we go. I apologize. My eyes are burning. Dude. Good lord. I need like actual sunglasses. Yeah, this. Oh, goodness, man. Why is this so bright? <laughs> Third and 15. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is not how Vegas looks. What What is happening here? Yo, somebody fix what? This looks awful. Thank God I'm only doing play the moments. I could not sit through a full game with this. I can't even see what they're doing, man. Jacobs runs out of bounds. It'll be fourth and 17. This is awful. We've got third and five as we continue to be blinded. I'm going to throw a screen here to McLaughlin. And McLaughlin will have a first down. Cuts back inside to the 31-yard line. I'm really excited to use him way more next season. Like, he's going to be a big, big part of the offense. He's going to be getting at least minimum 10 carries a game and probably three to five catches a game as well as Javante will have the carry. He powers through for a first down. Ben Powers is injured. I don't I don't know if Ben Powers will be on this team for, for much longer either. He's always hurt too. Shocker. <laughs> Shocker. Uh, first and 10 here, and I don't really see much open. Poor accuracy. Sick. The Raiders have it down to the 10-yard line. It's a 3-0 lead for Vegas. And Garoppolo back to throw, and that's going to be caught. Down to the three-yard line. It's a gain of seven. Michael Mayer with his second catch. I wonder how Mayer is doing in real life. Because I, I really like him. I think he's a good player. But I don't know. The Raiders have been pretty rough. And Jacobs were powered in into the end zone. Touchdown, and they will take a 10-0 lead. Oh my! All right, so we just had a turnover apparently. Wonder who that was. And Jacobs goes nowhere. Drew Sanders got to him initially. Kareem Jackson got the tackle. Nice play there. Let's switch to let's let's go to zone here. Second and goal from the nine now. And that will be caught, but Sanders 
And Singleton got there. Still keeps breaking tackles, though. Third and one. Or third and goal from the one. Michael Mayer with the play. And I'm going to go ahead and play run here. See if we can get after Jacobs here. And Sanders does. A TFL for Drew Sanders. It'll be fourth and goal from the three. The Raiders will go ahead and attempt a field goal here to take a 13-0 lead at the two-minute warning. Never mind, they went for it. I went to skip the play, so I didn't have to watch them kick a field goal, and they went for it. They didn't get it. So, all right then. Um, two-minute drill from the one-yard line. Oh, boy. We're going to give up a safety, aren't we? <laughs> McLaughlin with the handoff. That was almost a safety. <laughs> Second and 11. Goodness. Yeah, uh, we might just want to try and run out the clock. I don't think we're going to be scoring here. As that's going to be incomplete. Russ has two interceptions in this game. That's not me. Well, actually, one of them was me. So, but still. Third and 11. And Javante up the middle. He will not have a first down. We'll go ahead and punt. The Raiders getting another chance here in the red zone. But they're just going to call a timeout, aren't they? Oh, they're... What are they doing? Okay, well, there's somehow still one second to go. But this time around, they'll kick a field goal. They almost just ran that play as time expired. That was really dumb. But it works out for them. It'll be 13-0 at the half. Start the second half here. Third and nine. We're at about midfield. And we're just going to run a screen that goes nowhere. Fourth and 11. Russ has been really bad this game. We are at the goal line, though. And you know what? Let's go play action here. And try to go to Mims. But no, we get hit. Russ is too slow to get away from Chandler Jones, which that's a little awkward. But whatever. Second and goal from the four. Javante will have the carry. And he gets destroyed. Got tackled through a block, so that was cool. Third and goal. We're going to look to Mims here. And Mims... Never got completely open. It's Brian, former Colt. Gets a sack, and we will kick a field goal. Into the fourth quarter. Third and six. Can we get a stop? Go down and score. And Garoppolo going deep. That's going to be caught. You've got to be kidding me. Moss gets burned again. And, uh... Yeah, this is not looking great. Second and inches. And Jacobs goes nowhere. It will be third and two. 68 yards rushing for Josh Jacobs. I'm assuming they're going to throw the ball here. But we'll see. And no. Oh, yep. They will throw it. It's a screen. Renfro breaks through Zach Moss into the end zone. Touchdown. Vegas is going to be going for it here on fourth and three. Our offense didn't, didn't do squat. Shocker. Stunned. And. Oh, wow. Garoppolo's going to throw it. That's going to be wide open into the end zone. Touchdown of Michael Mayer. And we will officially. Officially lock in the number one overall pick. We are on the clock. Thank God. Marvin Mims with a nice grab there. And Russell Wilson officially playing his final game in Denver. Well, for the Broncos at least. And that's going to be nearly picked. But it is over. This horrible, painful era is finally over. We'll get this to McLaughlin up the middle and Jaleel McLaughlin all the way down to the 30-yard line. Let's actually just get it back to McLaughlin here and see if he can make a play. 
It's a gain of four. We'll call a timeout. 12 seconds to go. Maybe look to Mims or something. For the final touchdown of the year. No, don't really like anything. I'm just going to throw it up and complete. Third and six. Try to run one more play here. Uh, the game wants us to run a Hail Mary. Ooh. Okay. No, I don't I don't want to run a Hail Mary. That's stupid. Third and six. I mean I get it. Like run a Hail Mary to, to try score one more time, but I end up where it doesn't matter. We don't have time. Alright, well whatever. Let's just run a Hail Mary, I guess. And the final throw of Russ's career in Denver is incomplete. And we will lose 21 or 27 to 3. The Russell Wilson era is over. Thank God. So painful. Garoppolo was very good. Jacobs 106 yards rushing. Javante was bad. McLaughlin bad. Devontae, good. Raiders, good. Broncos, bad. That's that's pretty much the story there. Marvin Mims, five catches, 74 yards. Sanders, 11 tackles, a TFL. Benito and Cooper each with the sack. Good to see there. So that will do it. Finally, we're done. So that will do it. We have officially the worst record in the NFL we finished the season at 3 and 14. And we'll go ahead and look at the playoff bracket. Number one seed in the AFC is the Bengals. Chiefs are second. Bills are third. Uh, Jacksonville is fourth. Steelers will be fifth. Ravens will be sixth. And the Browns make the playoffs. Philly has the best record in the NFC. Uh, Tampa with the second best record. Interesting. Green Bay, three. Seattle, four. They won their divisions. Atlanta is the fifth seed. Dallas is the sixth seed. And New Orleans is the seventh seed. So let's go ahead and simulate here week by week. Let's see what happens here in the playoffs. And see if we get any dev trade upgrades with the rookies. On to the divisional round. The Ravens upset the, uh, the Bills. 24-17. And the Steelers upset Jacksonville. 20 to 17 and in the NFC uh Atlanta upsets Seattle I mean is that an upset though Atlanta might have had a better record so who knows and we will move on to the conference championship week and it will be the Chiefs versus the Ravens and the Eagles versus the Packers. Interesting. All right. On to Super Bowl 58. And uh, we could look at Pro Bowlers, I guess. I don't... I mean, Sertan, I would assume. I don't know. It will be a rematch, though. The Chiefs and Eagles in Super Bowl 58. Um, is it Super Bowl? Yeah, it's Super Bowl 58, right? Yeah, Super Bowl 58. Let's look at the Pro Bowl roster. See if anyone on the team made it. Marvin Mims is a Pro Bowl. Is a Pro Bowler. Nice. All right. Good for Marvin Mims. Uh, I thought that was uh, Benito, but no. That is, that's not how you spell Benito. Uh, and then anyone else does not look like it. Maybe, wow, Pat Sertan did not make the Pro Bowl. Whoa, okay. That sucks. I thought for sure he, he would be in the Pro Bowl. So we got one. One player in the Pro Bowl. Oh, wait, Drew Sanders didn't make the Pro Bowl? Well, that sucks. All right. Unless I missed them, but I don't, I don't really want to go back and look. <laughs> Advancing to Super Bowl week, though. We've got some upgrades. Marvin Mims and Drew Sanders. I'm assuming they both won their Rookie of the Year. And let's look at Marvin Mims. He is now officially up to Superstar. And he won Offensive Rookie of the Year and Wide Receiver of the Year. Was he really that good? We'll look at the stats after. He has three skill points, though. 
So let's do this. Let's go deep threat. He's up to a 78 overall now, plus two deep route, plus one spectacular catch. I really want to get his catching traffic up. Um, but man, getting his deep route would be awesome. You know what? Let's just do all deep route. That way, next year he's elite as far as uh deep route running goes. Plus two released too, which is big. His release is a 73 now. And we will do one more. He is officially an 80 overall. Plus one catching, plus two deep route, plus one jumping, plus one release, and plus one spin move. So 93 speed, 95 excel, 89 catching, 82 catching traffic, 85 deep route running, 86 spectacular catch, 93 jumping. Yeah, he's looking great. He's looking great. He's our deep threat for sure. Uh, eventually, we will start working on the other route running. Um, obviously, catching traffic is going to be a big one as well. But for that at the end here, just wanted to focus on deep route running. And uh, hopefully, maybe his speed gets a, a little bit of a boost too if we do have to restart the franchise. But like I said, if we do, the records for the whole league will be the same. Uh, I'll make sure week by week it's all good, uh, which is going to take a while. And um, that's if the the draft class stuff, if we have to reset. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if, if we do actually have to reset. Drew Sanders, he has only one upgrade, but he is officially up to Superstar Dev as well. So that is amazing. Guess Defensive Rookie of the Year. He's only 21 years old. And I think the, the main thing for, for us is going to be Run Stopper. He's a 79 overall, plus two block shed is what, which is what I wanted there. And now that is an 80 officially. So those two guys looking very, very good, very good. And let's go ahead and see who wins Super Bowl 58, the Chiefs or the Eagles. And the winner of Super Bowl 58 will be Philly. They get revenge. They beat Mahomes. Jalen Hurts wins his Super his first Super Bowl MVP. Mahomes won league MVP. Marvin Mims, Drew Sanders, both Rookie of the Year, which is awesome. We have 226 staff points, which is great too. So we will definitely be using that uh, in the next episode. Don't really care about any of those guys. And that will do it. That is the video. That is the season. I will see you guys during staff week where I'm probably going to actually change coordinators potentially. We'll see. And um, yeah, we finished 29th in offense, 32nd in defense as far as points per game. And then for the season stats, Russ, 3,200 yards, 23 touchdowns, 26 picks. Javante, 870 yards rushing, six touchdowns. McLaughlin, 535 yards and six touchdowns. Hopefully their numbers look much better next year. Marvin Mims, 70 catches, a thousand, nearly 1,100 yards, 13 touchdowns. A good year. Not nothing special, but a good year. Uh, and for a rookie, a very good year. And then defensively, Sanders, 90 tackles, 10 TFLs. Zach Allen led the, led the team with 12 TFLs. Sanders led the team with six sacks. He can do it. He can rush the passer. Benito, three and a half sacks towards the end of the year, which was good. He started playing more. Six interceptions for Sertan, two for Sanders. Uh, deflections, 12 for Sertan, six for Sanders. Let's actually take a, one last look at the team in general to make sure Sertan did not lose his X factor. That I am a bit worried about. And let's see here. So Mims as superstar. Our offensive line is very bad. Very, very bad. And then defensively, no, Sertan still has X-Factor, which is good. Sanders as superstar. Browning as star. But again, his injury rating is so low. He keeps getting injured. I just don't know. And I mean, it's not really. It's a 92. 90, technically. I don't know. I want to give him a shot, but... He just keeps getting hurt. I don't, I don't know what to do with them. So, anyways, that's the team. Hope you guys enjoyed Season 1. Let me know in the comments below who we should draft. Not just Caleb, but who else, right? 
look through, you know, if you guys watch a lot of college football, like what what players are you guys looking forward to to see uh, in the 2024 draft class? Let me know and let me know if you guys think there's anyone with really good fits and should we trade Patrick Sertan? I think that's the biggest question here of the offseason, but let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in the offseason for Broncos franchise. See you guys then.